Women can actively engage and constructively engage in this agenda through advocacy and regulation that helps companies move in the right direction. In a European context, it is indeed this line of approach the Danish government anticipates the European Commission's recent legislation proposal, which I know Commissioner Barnier was discussing here yesterday, on non-financial disclosure. In a global context, this line of thought is the reason why Denmark, and I know you've heard about the Danish case a couple of times, but we have engaged ourselves together with Brazil, France and South Africa to form the so-called Group of Friends of the Paragraph 47. Promoting Paragraph 47 on sustainability reporting in the outcome document The Future We Want, adopted last year at the United Nations Conference Rio Plus 20. In short, the Group of Friends may be considered a unique global governmental forum for sharing of experiences and building capacity within the field of sustainability reporting driven by governments, but not ignorant to the need of engaging other stakeholders. Norway and Colombia recently joined us, and more are on the verge of becoming members. I would like to use this platform to invite other governments to also explore this opportunity, for example, through our competent partners, GRI and UNEP in the secretarial capacity. In a national context, what is our own experiences back in Denmark? In 2008, the Danish government and parliament decided to make sustainability reporting mandatory for all around 1,100 of the largest companies and all financial institutions in Denmark. The answer was a piece of smart regulation based on a comply or explain time type of approach. We did not make CSR mandatory. Companies still have choice and flexibility, but we did make flexibility mandatory. We believe that stakeholders should be informed about the choices companies make on CSR, and that is and this is just as important as key financial information. Now, what have been the impact three years later? <coughs> to highlight the overall trend, in total around 90% of companies have chosen to report on their sustainability policies. 50% of them for the first time. Also, the quality of reporting has improved considerably from year to year. The regulation can easily be adapted to the situation of different companies and we believe, believe this flexibility is the main reason why Danish businesses, while initially being quite critical towards this, in fact reacted positively. As governments, we must acknowledge our role in creating the right frameworks and incentives. We are convinced that other countries have important experiences to share to learn from. We need to share these experiences while keeping in mind our common purpose. Thank you.